differently and in regards to the height so at our first rest stop just stop with whoever you're walking with and while you're walking just pray just pray to yourself while you're walking so that God can heal his body and not only him but give the family strength also to continue with this situation and we got to remember Francis family too uh, Francie, when is the funeral for your brother? Thursday. 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 Um, okay. It's still 25, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, but what I'll do, uh, no. well, unless, probably at meet before and say otherwise, but um, I'll send the link in the group chat. Okay, okay. And um, if you can, at least get one representative. I, I have representative. I don't know what. Everybody's schedule is there, but if you could get at least one representative, that would be fine. You know, let's do it as a family. Alright? Janelle, it's over to you. Janelle, look like you Yeah, I'm just sleeping because you are. But anyway, we shall carry on, even though our beloved captain is in here. Um, but normally when I search for the devotion to go through quickly, this one I found was posted this morning. Uh, this one is entitled Dead for a Year. Hmm? Hmm? Of course we're not wishing a boy, boy, boy. Anyway, the scriptural text is taken from Luke chapter 10, verse 30 and 31, and Jesus answering said a certain man went from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves and stripped him of his raiment and wounded him so this is basically the story of the good Samaritan basically right and by chance they came down a certain priest that way and when he saw him he passed on the other side right so in February of 2007, police in Hamptons Bay, New York, received a call to investigate a report of a home with burst pipes. Upon entering the home, they were stunned to find a partially mummified body of a man who had been dead for more than a year. <coughs> he was found alone in the house, sitting in the chair in front of his television, which was still on. <laughs> the Suffolk County medical examiner said that Vincenzo Ricardo, 70 years old, apparently died of natural causes. A local morgue assisted said that evidently his home's dry air had helped to preserve his remains. Ricardo's wife died years earlier and he lived alone. He had diabetes and had gone blind, but he was still able to be independent. The amazing thing is that he hadn't been heard from for over a year and nobody sounded the alarm. Evidently, he had set all of his bills on automatic, so they were paid. Automatically. automatically, so not much. There was nothing really out of the ordinary. Still, you would have thought somebody would have observed that the lights never turned off and the television was constantly clearing out. You know, 
Neighbors said that they just never thought to check on him. <coughs> they had assumed Ricardo was in a hospital or uh, in a nurse's home. It seems that the Bible speaking about paying for news has become a forgotten moral, a law trying to pay lawyer, one that Jesus. Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Luke chapter 10 verse 25. When Jesus asked, what does the law teach? The man responded, quoting the Old Testament, including the injunction to love your neighbor. But then he asked Jesus, but who is my neighbor? In this context, Christ told the story of the Good Samaritan when we're familiar with the Good Samaritan. In essence, the story points out how neighbor is anyone around us in need of help. So how often has the Holy Spirit whispered in our heart to check on our neighbor? We might need to see if your neighbor is not doing well physically, but don't neglect to be sensitive to their spiritual well-being. So we can use that as an opportunity to share literature. Let's go.
look like mahogany. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, that's not mahogany. Look like a silk cotton tree. Yeah.
not having it. <laughs> So, what I can tell you this morning, this hike is in the spirit of our dear captain, David, last weekend. He sustained an injury on his job, which landed him into the hospital in critical but stable condition. So this morning hike is dedicated to David. So this morning hike is really dedicated to David Roberts, our hiking captain, as I said, and he's unable to be on the trail. So friends, well wishers and co-workers are out on the trail in the spirit of David this morning, wishing him a speedy recovery to gather strength quickly so he can be with us on the trail once more. And as we go along, at certain interval, we'll stop and say a little prayer for his recovery with God's blessing.
So this morning hiking is um, out at the English Harbour side. We're hiking to Fort Berkeley and we're going via the middle ground trail from Galleon Beach. So we're in the middle ground right now and this will take us over to Fort Berkeley. Okay, we close it off for there, right? Eh? We just leave the argument there, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry to keep you guys resting so long, but I was in a little private prayers there. No, no, I was in a little private prayer. For our fellow man David. Okay. Right? Next time you have to come here. Right, so. But that's what I said, you know. As we go on a, on a journey interval, and certain interval, we'll stop and pray. I did say that. Right? We don't have to pray in group. I can pray alone. You can do that alone too. We, I think we were doing that all along. Yeah, so you got a swan in there ready? What? Come, and the, come the and bring the come the the body. Take the picture and then I'll come out and take the girl. Yeah, come, let's take yeah, the picture. <laughs> what? It's quiet today, boy. Yeah. Come, guys. Let's go a picture and then we can go. Good picture. Oh, it's a 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 good picture. Oh,
The journal. The journal. Oh. Okay, so you just hold my hand, right? Yeah. Is it Zahi? Did you stop on the phone on it? I want to tell it this time. The shirt? Like the last on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something hung out. over there. Well, yeah. I have a shirt now and then. Mm, yeah. And it's on it. I don't know if it's one. It's one. It's one.
Take your time and climb down these rocks. Take your time, Francine. That's right. Easy does it. You need to train it. Mm -hmm. Well, I've come along with because trust me, I Oh, you did. Not, not even high. It's not even high. I don't think we have no high here. Look at that over there. Went over there last week. That's not even high either. It's true. Over there. It just oh. looks so. You're not accustomed to great heights. And think it's flat.
Oh, nem de. Jó kettő. See different stuff, yeah. Take your time, take your time. Take You'll make time. it. Wait, nobody will stand up and look for you. I tell him go ahead. Yeah, you just want me to catch my breath and yeah. you take your time. You'll you'll make it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just don't fall down. And don't be afraid to scream. So here we are, we arrive at a fort they call Berkeley, Fort Berkeley, right here in the English Harbour area. Fort Berkeley, Freeman's Bay and English Harbour. So we are here this morning.
Last week we just departed and that was not something that we are custom of doing. So before we leave, please let us all huddle together and pray before we leave this morning. Alright? So now we're gonna do everybody a minute. Pray for it by yourself. It's just a short prayer for David, for him to get well. Because as I said before, he had a serious accident last weekend and he's in the hospital in intensive care. So we're wishing him all the best and a speedy recovery so that he can be back out with us on the trail. Hikers, 
Yes. Have an enjoyable okay, week. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whatever lesson you have learned from this morning that we remember. And most of all, keep God close to you. Yes,